Hello everyone, in tonight's video I'm going to showcase the Dell PowerEdge 1300 home slash office server computer from around 1999. Now up until this moment it's been sitting in my basement basically unused. I never really cared for it but as of recently I saw a few videos on YouTube and it looks like there is some interest surrounding this computer. So I figured might as well inform some people about it. This particular model is running Windows Server 2003. I installed it on a regular hard drive non-SCSI. And that's all this computer has. It says it has a Pentium 3 probably originally, but as of now it has a Pentium 2 installed. There is another processor, but it's not reading it. I have not done much to this computer aside put in that hard drive and reinstall Windows 2003 server. It does boot up, there are some issues. It used to have internet access, but I do not currently have a wireless card for it, along with the driver, so it's offline. Um, I was looking to maybe do something with it, like a just a fun little email server or something. Refresh my skill with server computers. So, without further ado, let's power it up. Let me show the inside a little bit here. It's a pretty beefy computer. Here we go. Someone's texting me. Like every some, like every server computer, it's a little loud. Let's come over here. Yeah, I'm getting Snapchats. It's just part of recording. So it's the 450 variant. While it's booting, let's go back to the computer. I believe we have a restart button on the case. Small little scuff. Not that big of a deal. Everything's running nice and healthy. And all the components are original. No capacitor replacements. I don't even know if there are capacitors. Original power supply, as to my knowledge. So everything's nice and dandy there. Like I said, there is a bit of a miscommunication with the computer, so not everything is in order, but I just recently pulled it out of the basement, so it's not like everything's going to be working. Alright, F1, should read the disk. Okay, we have a hard disk light, and we should see the splash screen, 2003 server, here we go. Looks like XP, but a little different. One nice thing is though, I have 32 colors, and I have 70 hertz refresh with this graphics card that's pre-installed in the computer, so things are pretty nice. So I know if 60 hertz on a CRT, things can get a little janky. Here we have the login screen. Hold on one moment. Okay, I'm logging in. And here we are inside Windows Server 2003. I do believe earlier I had some kind of local file sharing going on on here, but that was over a year ago. None of that works anymore. I changed routers. But here we are. And it's pretty much a fully functional server, even without the SCSI drives. Alright, and before we go for this video, I just figured I'd show you guys what the shutdown sequence looks like for a computer like this. 
go to shutdown, we have our typical options minus a sleep function. Log off, shut down, restart. The interesting part is it won't let you shut down until you say why you shut down. And this is pretty much for paper trail reasons, because in a corporate office environment, if something goes down, you need to know why. Someone else is going to log in, a manager or someone, and they're going to say what happened. So there needs to be some kind of written reason. So here we have some options such as hardware maintenance, operating system reconfiguration, installation. We can even write about it as a comment. But let's say, for instance, we're going to do some hardware maintenance, right? Like the covers off the computer. That's it. We can type in something. So, hello. I'd get fired from IT if I wrote that, but okay. Hit OK. And the funny thing is, this has a Windows 95 type of shutdown where it doesn't fully shut down, but it lets you know you can shut off the computer. Very classic. And all you need to do from here is come on over to the computer, hit the button, and you're done. I'm guessing this type of a shutdown method is to protect the RAID drives. If you have a RAID array or SCSIs, a whole bunch of hard drives in this configuration. Otherwise, though, that's it. That's a classic server for you guys. Take care.